Good evening, everybody. Good evening. How are you guys? Good evening. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? Fine, thank you, teacher. Good, good. I'm glad to hear that. How was your weekend? Reasonable. <laughs> good, good weekend? Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. With the family. What? With, With the family. Oh, good. 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 That's important to be with the family. Yeah. So, um, what did you do with the family? Were you just at home? Or uh, no. In my home, we have a lunch. Oh, nice. Nice. Mm -hmm. What did you have for lunch? Uh, hamburgers. Mm, okay. Made in home. So it was delicious. Oh, oh even better. <laughs> yeah. Much, much better. Okay, good. Good. Yeah. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. How are you? Thanks. Fine. You? Pretty good. Not too bad. Oh. Good. Yes. And how was your turkey food, teacher? My turkey food or my Turkish food? Oh, it was Turkish. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's not turkey. It's Turkish. Yes, I'm sorry. Turkish. <laughs> turkey is the, the animal. <laughs> um, yes. Uh, turkey is the animal. Yes. Um, turkey is, well, actually, Turkey is a country. Turkish uh -huh. is a nationality. Uh -huh. uh, uh, talking about the food? Yeah. No, it was like, okay. Turkey. No, like, like the food would be used with the nationality, which is ah. uh, which is Turkish, just like Turkish. you see Salvadorian food, Mexican ah. food, um, okay. you know, Japanese food, et cetera, et cetera, right? Just like that, you say Turkish food. And how was your Turkish food? <laughs> it was great, really? really, really great. Yeah, yeah, we had, uh, we had, let me see. Um, we had, um, well, we tried, um, we started with some stuffed, stuffed um, grape leaves. Mm -mm. Do, do you know grape leaves? Mm -mm. Ojas, ojas, grape leaves. Uh, so gra grape. Yes, I saw it's like, what's on rolladitos? Uh-huh, 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 mm -hmm. exactly. Okay. Yeah, so we started with that as an appetizer. Oh. Okay. And uh, we tried some Turkish pizza mm. uh, with with lamb, which is good. Yeah. And um, mm. we had some, uh, what's it called? Uh, some Istanbul fries mm. and um, some falafel. So I call it strict, yeah. delicious. Yes. I, and I, then I that. finished with a baklava. Ah, baklava. Delicious too. Yeah. <laughs> what is the name of the place? You it's called uh oh, what's the name? Tek Tele Tekle Bob or something like that. Tekle Bob or something like that. Oh. Mm -hmm. I think something like that. It's in Santa Tecla. Oh, mm -hmm. well. Yeah. Yeah. So well, I I it. it was it was nice because um it was actually we were we were completely alone like mm. like it was just like us in the restaurant so that was really nice um and the place is it's very nice too they have a like a like an like a patio and that's very cute mm. lots of okay. like a garden like a garden yeah right. so it was very nice yeah nice yeah yeah all right guys welcome i see many of your faces how are you guys today Pretty good. Hello. Can you hear me? <laughs> yeah, everybody's like somewhere else in a different world right now. <laughs> okay. We are. Hello, hello, hello. Okay. All right, guys, let's uh, start with our attendance, make sure everybody's here. Ana Claudia. Present teacher. All right. And Andres. Present teacher. All right, and Claudia. Present teacher. Excellent. Edgar. Present teacher. All right. 
Excellent. Irvin. Present teacher. All right. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Uh, Heidi. Present teacher. All right. Welcome, Heidi. Irene. Present teacher. All right. Welcome. Thank you. Ivan. Present teacher. All right. Welcome, Ivan. Thanks, teacher. And Jose Montes. Jose Montes. No? Okay. All right. What about Jose Ayala? Jose Ayala? No. Okay. All right. Josue. Josue? No. Okay. Uh, Juan Francisco? That's All right. Welcome, Juan Francisco. Jury. Present teacher. All right. Welcome. Luis. Luis. Okay. Uh, and Natalia. Present. Okay. Teacher. Wonderful. Thank you, Natalia. Ronald. Present teacher. All right. Welcome. Wendy. Oh, Present. All right, welcome, Wendy. Thanks. Warner? Present teacher. All right, welcome, Warner. Thank you for connecting. And Yvonne? Present teacher. All right, welcome, Yvonne. Thank you. Okay, all right, guys. Um, first of all, I wanted to ask you guys, how are you guys doing with the platform? How's that coming along? Pretty good? Yeah? Not too bad? Okay, good, good. All right, excellent. Uh, remember that this week we have to finish the midterm, okay? So this, so basically um, Wednesday, I will be checking that unit two is finished and the midterm is finished. So I need you guys to make sure that you are up to date with that, okay? So if you haven't started with the midterm yet, I know some of you have, and some of you have even finished, which is great, good for you. But if you haven't, then you guys have a little bit of time, but um, not too much, so I really, I strongly suggest that you guys get on that, okay? All right, uh, questions so far? Anything you wanna ask about before we begin? No? Okay, all right. Okay, guys, in that case, um, let's begin. Um, please tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. Can you see it now? Not yet, teacher. Not yet? Yes, not, not yes, now. Teacher. Yes? Can you see the can you see it everything? Can you see everything yes. or no? Me no teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. Me. Yes. Who said who said they can't see it? ¿Quién dijo que no lo podía ver? Teacher. Wendy, no lo puede ver. Yes, but I don't know if the problem was with my Wi-Fi. Oh, okay. But now you can see it. Or no? You still can see it? Yes, yes. Very okay. Nice. All right, good. Excellent. Yes. Okay, great. So today we're going to be having the focus groups conversation. I facilitated Jessica Guerrero, it's intermediate two and it's class number 13. So we're in the middle of 
the whole course. Wow, almost finished, guys. Um, well, halfway finished. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start um, with these uh, some, these uh, words here. Um, I asked you guys to um, talk about this yes, last class, right? Just wanted to make sure that we understand the meaning of these words, okay? So let's start with the word targeted sample. Who can, who can remind me what is targeted sample? Can you guys take it? You can take out your notes and whatever it is that you that you used on Friday, and you guys can tell me what is a targeted sample. Just so that we can remind and refresh our memory. A volunteer. Lo hacemos dedocráticamente. <laughs> yeah, will that work better? Dedocráticamente? Yeah? Okay. All right, we'll have to do it that way then. Okay. Um, Edgar, can you help me with the targeted sample? Can you tell me what is the meaning of targeted sample? Do you have the meaning? No, teacher. No? No. Okay. Uh, okay. No, teacher. Uh, All right. What about Ivan? Ivan, do we have the meaning of targeted sample? Ivan? Do you have the meaning of targeted sample? Uh, no. No? Guys, no. Didn't, didn't we do this on Friday? O me equivocado yo? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Irene. I have a song. I have one... One concept, but I, I don't know if the correct. I'm going to. Oh, okay. It's okay. This moment. All okay. Right. Um, a target sample means a target is a total group of individuals from which the sample might be drawn. Sorry, could you repeat that again? I, I, didn't, I, I didn't hear very well. Okay. It's a um, word means. Uh, target means is a total group of individuals from which the sample might be drawn. It's like when you are uh, um, doing an an study of or for tests. Mm -hmm. And you you need some 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 person for for do for for make an, a test right mm -hmm. in, in in this way. Mm -hmm. Sample is like a um, a group of person mm -hmm. of individuals choose chosen for to be to be tested maybe or. A study for those for some for some product. Very good, exactly. That's exactly what it is. So we um, we have a, a group of people 
which we're going to be using um, to make the test. And okay. but we we choose which group of people they are. So uh, we don't just say, oh, you know, it's not random. Like, oh, whoever whoever can participate in the in the test. Instead, you say, okay. I want this type of person to participate. For example, I want it to be only men, okay? Mm -hmm. And I want it to be uh, men that are 30 to 40 years old, okay? So that's a targeted sample. So you're targeting, your, your focus is a specific group to do the sample or to do the test. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Sounds good for everybody? For me, Anything? yes, teacher. Yeah? Okay. Who 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 needs more clarification for this? It's okay. You can tell me. If you need more clarification, we can give you more clarification. No? Okay. It's okay. Thank you. All right. Perfect. Okay. So I, and now that that's pretty clear, this one should be even, you know, easier. Mm -hmm. So how about if, let me see. Um, um, Yvonne, Yvonne, can you help us with the random sample? Okay, uh, I think a uh, random sample is when you choose uh, some people of group uh, to make uh, maybe focus groups, interviews, or uh, any type of, of test that you want to, to do. Okay. And so, so what kind of people do you do the test with? Uh, I think you have a, a target uh, of people that you want to uh, prove a product. So you don't have to take all the people in the group. Mm -hmm. So you can choose uh, some people randomly uh, to make the, a test or a focus group or, or the, the things that you want to do. Okay, so, so in, this, in this one, do you have a, a specific group that you want to target? I think yes. Okay, okay. All right, thank you very much. What do you guys think about that? Do you agree? Do you have a different concept? What do you guys have jury what do you think what do you say with random sample do we have a targeted group uh, i have a definition about that random okay. sample okay it's a part of the sample te technique in which each sample has an equal probabilities of the choose choice a sample choice and randomly is meant to be an unbiased representation of the total population. Mm -hmm. Very good, exactly. Okay, so our team we... number one, <laughs> <laughs> Irene. I was working with Irene Jury too. Oh, okay, okay, wonderful, <laughs> excellent. Okay, so so do we do we target a group? Or is it can be anybody that we choose? Anybody. Exactly, anybody. Like like um, Jerry said before, any everybody has an equal opportunity of being chosen. Mm -hmm. So um, to give you an example, in this class right now we have sixteen students. If I did random sampling, means that um, I could choose anybody 
in this class. And I wouldn't be really thinking about a specific group in mind. I would just be taking people, you know, just, okay, this one and this one, this one, this one, this one, right? So maybe I want to have like eight people. So I just choose randomly whoever, um, whoever comes first, you know, the first eight people that appear on my screen, right? Or I can do it, you know, the, like every other person, right? That appears in the screen or maybe in alphabetical order, you know, something like that. Um, okay, sounds good? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, good, excellent. So, um, so this one, these two are basically the opposite. This one, you're mm -hmm. being specific, right? You want, you, you say, okay, I want this kind of group right? It has to be this particular group. For example, if we were going to do a targeted sample and I wanted to have, um, and I wanted my group, I wanted to make it just men that are from 30 to 40 years, 40 years old. How many people in this class could I do the sampling with? Put, put up your hand if you're, if you're in that group. Are you, at, oops, oops, sorry. Are you a, a man? between 30 and 40 years old put up your hand if you right now in this class are a man between 30 and 40 years old just one two only only two so no no other men that are between 30 and 40 years old Okay, so there you go. My target sample, thank you very much, guys. Thank you, Luis and Jose. You can uh, lower your hand. So if I was going to, if my targeted sample were men between 30 and 40 years old, I would only be able to um, do a test for two people in this class. That's it. But if I have random sample, then I don't have to think about, oh, just men that are between 30 and 40. I can choose a woman. I can choose, um, you know, a man that's 50 years old. I can choose uh, a woman that is uh, 20 years old. It doesn't really matter. Does that make sense? Yeah? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, good, excellent. All right, let's talk about competitive threat. What is a competitive threat? Um, Anna Claudia, help me with the competitive threat, please. Who's that? They were explaining to me because I was learning of uh, Irene and Jury <laughs> because I didn't understand that. Okay. That competitive three, uh, three, oh, um, three are um, things in the outside that make my project to be at risk. That is what they explained me. Um, um, okay, could you give an example? Competitive three. Right. We were discussing about that right. when, when the time was over. <laughs> Okay, okay. Uh, no, I'm not sure, teacher. At that, that point, I'm not sure. Okay. Teacher. Mm -mm. Yes. The, for me, the competitive threat is mm -hmm. like a risk and the, and the marketing competition. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. It's like uh, my pro going to be com uh, competitive yeah. with another. By the example, if I want to launch a new pizza, <laughs> my my competitive threat right. threat threat could be a pizza hut, pizza no, and another big compet competitors in the market. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Let Let's understand first of all what is a competitive. Com when we say competitive, we're talking about the competition. Right, we're talking about um, yes, like uh, Anatolia said, something that is external, not internal. 
it's something external. So we're talking about a company, an external company, right? Right. But a threat, because it's a threat, we're not talking about um, it's we're not talking about that it's a threat in this moment. It, we're, ta we're talking about that it could it could be a threat in the future. So it has the potential to be a threat, but it's not a threat right now. I have a definition. Sense? Sorry? I have, a de I, I have a definition. You see, I was learning from all these two guys. <laughs> good, good. See, and that's that's the beauty about this. Mm -hmm. That you know, we we're we we're, we're a class, we're all a team. So it's not just the teacher that's giving you information, it's you learning from each other. Mm -hmm. Because in the real world, that's what we do. We learn from each other. We don't, I mean, in the real world, you don't have the teacher there 24 hours, 24 seven, right? You don't have the teacher there in your workplace. So what you do in real life is you rely on other people that are around you to help you. And you ask, you know, do you know this? Do you know that? What you know, other people don't know. And what other people don't know, you don't know. Sorry, what other people know, you don't know. So okay. we complement each other. And that's the, the, uh, the beauty of these activities, that they help us to be able to work with our groups, work with other classmates, and learn from each other, right? Not just the teacher. It's, it's boring if the teacher is just giving you information. But if you are able to discuss and talk about it, then you learn so much more. Yeah. And, and like I said, um, I may be an expert in one area, but your partners are experts in another area. To give you an example, um, Irvin, Irvin with a, a great, um, you know, he, he's an expert in marketing. Yes. Right, Irvin? Yes, yes in the yeah. other company. In the other company have to be uh, strong than you. Uh huh. Yeah. Just so than you see, and they want they want to sell to your customer. This is the problem because yeah. the customer is, is uh, can buy with one company or other company. Only that. Right. This, is the, exactly. this is the most important. Very good. Exactly. Okay. So see, I I learned so I even myself I learned something from Urban right because you got we are able to share each other um, from each other right and and. Yeah, and it's great. It's great to be able to, to share. All right, so um, good. Anything else, any any questions about com competitive threat or is it pretty clear? Jury will say the, the concept. Okay, yeah, go for it, Jury. Uh, let me see, I lost it. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> okay. I made the introduction for you. <laughs> I'm making the Ivan's, Ivan's paper. <laughs> Okay, let me let me read it. Thank you, thank you, Claudia. A, com a competitive a competitive thread is a competition that hasn't occurred but has potential to occur. In other words, it is a risk of competition in which any risk a competitive thread has a probability an impact in in maybe threads. Very good, very very good. Okay, so like we said. It's a threat in potential, right? Um, so it hasn't happened yet. We don't have that competition yet, but it's a possibility, okay? So we need to anticipate it, right? That's what it is. We have to anticipate it, okay? All right, just, just letting you guys know that just in case, uh, you know, and... Um, Irvin and and uh, will and Warner will not let me lie that there's a big storm coming. So um, you might I, I I'm I'm hoping not right. But if if something happens to me, you guys know why, okay? So because I I I think the storm we can is hear gonna, the background. You can hear it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like it's very windy, super super windy right now. I have a feeling it's going to pass soon because I think it's just with a lot of wind, but um, hopefully nothing else happens, but just letting you guys know, just in case. Okay. Okay. All right, great. Let's go on to the next one. Unbiased. Who wants to share that one with me? Unbiased. I can say something. 
Great, yeah, go ahead, Jose. Okay, on bias, you have to be 100% fair. You can't have a favorite or option that will color your judgment. That's unbiased mean. Very yeah. good. Excellent. Exactly. So, yes, you can't have a favorite. You can't make up your mind ahead of time. If you want to be unbiased, it means that you, uh, you're, you're just, you're going with the flow. Whatever happens, happens. You don't have a specific idea in mind. Teacher, huh? it's like saying imparcial. Exactly. Yes. It's like in being impartial. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll write it down. Impartial. You guys know this word. Another concept says able to judge fairly because you are not influenced by your own opinions. Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. So, um, yeah, very good. Um, being influenced by an opinion. That's a very good way of saying. So it's the absence of being influenced by an opinion, whatever, whosever opinion it is, whether it's your opinion or somebody else's opinion, but you're not influenced by it. Okay. Sounds good. Yes, teacher. Yes, no? Yes, teacher. Okay. All right, good. Good, good, good. Okay, so now that we have this vocabulary in mind, um, now we, uh, it's all clear on what this is about because um, this is very important vocabulary. So what we're gonna do is the following now. Let's practice. First of all, we're gonna work in small groups. Okay, uh, and the groups that you're going to be working with is this, organize a plan to run a focus group to assess customers' perception of the new product you design in lesson one. So this is, we're going back to the same uh, product that we talked about, remember when you did the SWOT? Okay, so we're going to go back to that group. Always remember that group because we're going to be, we're going to continue working with that group, okay? So um, we're going to be working with that group and you're going to be um, planning a focus group. Okay. Now, what do you have to do? Specify the steps, the type of sample suitable for the product. Okay. So think about the number of the focus groups. How many, what, what's the number that you want? Do you want four, five, six, 10, 20? I don't know the number of participants per group. So how many people do you want in that group? Do you want only five people, 10 people, 15, 20? Where are you going to do it? What's the location of the focus group? Okay, are they gonna be doing it like everybody at home or are you going to be going to a specific place to do it, et cetera, et cetera. The type of test, right? What, what kind of test do you wanna make? for a focus group and the number of items in the questionnaire. So how many questions do you want? Do you want to have five questions, 10 questions, 15, 20, whatever, okay? And then you're gonna present your plan to the class. I don't want you to actually create the focus, the, 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 the focus group, like you're just planning it. Does that make sense? That makes sense to everybody? Yes, just to make the plan. That's right. It's just making the plan. That's it. All right. How are you guys doing? Do we do we understand this activity or do you need more explanation? In the last one, the last one, it says the number of items in the questionnaire. Yeah, that's right. So you're gonna make questions, right? For no, you don't have to actually make the questions, but you ah, okay, that was my have doubt. to decide how many do you need to make. Ah, uh, okay. What would be okay. a good number of questions to put in the questionnaire? Okay, so we're, we're literally just planning. It shouldn't take you too, too long, okay? 
Okay. All right. Are we ready? Yeah. Okay. So you guys are going to help me with this because you are the ones that remind, remember very well who you were working with. So let's, let's start. Ana Claudia, who are you working with in that group? Uh, when we designed the, 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 when we made the SWOT, I was with Irene and Erwin. Okay, hold on. Irene, Irene, Irvin. Urban, uh -huh. Urban, Urban, uh -huh. um, okay, uh -huh. In some point, uh, when Erwin wasn't in in one of the class, uh, Josue was adding too, but he's oh, not here. Okay, but he's not here anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, perfect. But originally okay. with Erwin and Irene. Okay, perfect. Let's continue working. So mm -hmm. if Josue comes in later, I'll add him to your group. Okay. Okay, all right, wonderful, thank you. All right, um, Andres, who were you working with? With uh, Yvonne, creo, pero no recuerdo quién más. Okay, Yvonne, do you remember? Um, with Ivan and, and let me see. Hey, Natalia. Okay. Natalia, you were in that group? Sorry, uh, yes, teacher, with Nivon and Ivan. Good, excellent. All right, perfect. Uh, let's continue with the next group. Claudia, do you remember who you were working with, Claudia? With Erica and Luis. With Luis and? Edgar. Edgar, okay, thank you. All right, uh, do you remember, uh -huh. Jose, Jose Ayala, do you remember who you were working with? I was working with uh, Juan Jose, I guess, and Wendy, and in that group uh, was uh, Heidi. Okay, but Heidi's not here, okay. 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 Um, thank you. And Jerry, who were you working with? I think I was working with um, Werner in, um, I don't remember. Ronald? Werner in Juan Francisco, maybe. Juan Francisco, who were you working with? Okay. Uh -huh. And in the lecture number one, I was I was was uh, in on Wendy. Um, Wendy and and and, uh, and Jose Ayala. No. Uh, Katie. Katie, yes. yes. Katie and Wendy. And the second opportunity I work on with uh, Wendy and Jose. Okay, okay. Great. All right. Uh, Ronald, who are you working with? I don't remember so good, but I remember uh, Juan Francisco, Katie. But I'm not sure. Cinco personas en este grupo. Jerry, who are Teacher. you? Uh -huh. I think Andres or Andres and Werner. I think I was working. It, it was about the SWAT. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hi. Okay. Ronald, were you always working with, uh, with Heidi? No, always. No. I work, no, no. Okay, okay, bye. Is it okay if I put you with jury? So I'll put, because uh, jury right now, his, his other teammates are not here. 
So um, is it okay if I put you two together? Yes. Yeah? Okay, perfect. All right, so I'm going to give you 15 minutes to design the plan. Remember, you are only designing. You are not, you're not actually creating the focus group. You're just designing it. You're just deciding, okay, we want to do this, we want to do that, that's it, okay? Sounds good, everybody? Yes? Yes. Okay, perfect. Let's open up the groups. Here we go. Natalia, are you there? I, I don't know if Randall, because in random, uh, you have to take the Men's, children's, women's. Mm. And it's a beauty Remember salon. That it's a beauty salon. Mm -hmm. It's a beauty salon. So. Uh -huh. it's, it's, uh, Do you have it's, any questions? Yes, teacher. Uh, I was confused about the group. I was working with Werner and Yuri. Mm. Natalia, Natalia is, is not here. Okay, Natalia is supposed to be in your group? Yes. Oh, okay, okay, bye. Ahorita la voy a agregar a ella. Y Andres, you were in which group? With Yuri and Werner, but Werner is not in the class. So ahorita lo voy a mandar. Hello, okay. teacher. Natalia. Uh, uh, in my case, uh, it's raining right now, so the internet I lost the internet, so I connect with the cell phone. Okay, okay, no problem. I understand. Yeah, I, I totally understand. I <laughs> there's a big storm in my house, or like near oh, my. Yeah. House. I, I can, right now it's, it's, it's raining it's, everywhere. I know it's it's yeah it's raining rain to, uh, in my house. Yeah. Yeah, I, I feel the raindrops keep falling on my head. <laughs> 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 you need to, to, to dance with that song. Yes. Okay. So do you have any other questions that you want to ask? Um no. For for the moment, no. Okay, all right. Then go ahead, start start uh, working on it. Okay. Okay, Natalia. Okay. Mm. We are Sample talking group. with. We yeah. have to do a plan, a uh, plan to run a focus group. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, we discuss in about the, beauty the salon. sample group. Yes, in the beauty mm -hmm. salon. So we can choose. Um, there is no. Uh, the I type of sample. Uh-huh. Yeah, target sample. And yeah, without many people. So we have to maybe three focus group of 15 people. I don't know. Maybe. With 15 or 10 people, three focus group. Three focus uh, group with uh, 10 people. Five. Five. 15. Oh, five. Five people. Uh-huh. Yeah, five people uh -huh. because focus group okay. are expensive. <laughs> <laughs> Focus group. Okay. Well, the type of sample is the targeted sample. But do you remember all the tests? The all the ones that we need to to explain. We were working with Irene in the. In the most, what is the name of the one that we had, Irene? Uh, use test. 
all these tests that he I said that, 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 that the customer have the product in their use at home for a mm -hmm. period of time and then they they are at home using the product. We can say can we use the use test and because we are going to make it in a hotel. That is a good great idea. But, but Claudia, we have mm -hmm. two customer different. Mm -hmm. The one customer is a business, and the second customer uh, is, is business to business and business to customer. Customer, because you're right. You will sell the product to the business. To, to customers, right? Yes, and you mm -hmm. will sell the, 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 the product at the customer end. Who will use it is the customer. But who will the buy? end customer? Can we say that? The Let final customer. Uh -huh. Yeah. We have a two targets. Mm -hmm. No, we have a two, two customers. Two customers. Mm -hmm. Business to business or business to customers. Mm -hmm. Who will who will buy our product is other company. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For example, if you all be a you make a juice, apple juice, for example. Mm -hmm. You can sell the bottle to the company. Who is going to provide it to the final yeah. user. Ah, I got it. Yeah, yeah. In that case, I think that use test will be the best because they are using the product, right? I agree with you. Uh-huh. The use test because the old, yes. it, it's a uh -huh, plastic bottle. Okay, let, let's make the use test. Do you agree that we make the use test? Yes, I Yes, but because we, it will be in the hotel rooms, right? Yes, but we have to remember that uh -huh. we sell the product yes, to, the to the business. business. To business. Uh -huh. No, to the business to customer. No, no, no. But okay. what it's important is the feedback of the final customer for the business to decide to purchase our product. Yes, this is mm -hmm. all the uh, investigation. Mm -hmm. That is the reason why we want the final customer to use it. Because yes. we want to, uh, they have the experience mm -hmm. of our bottle. Okay. And the number of items in the questionnaire, do well, you think? Well, 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 the maximum in the, in the, in the, in the use of test and in which one test 12 is the maximum. Ah, okay. Okay. What, yeah, because... what, what, what kind of, what kind? Is this, is this, could you have, Repeat, please. Four question is the maximum in the. Four question. No, no, twelve. Twelve, 12. is 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 a suitable is a suitable way to have a question and questionary uh, like a suitable amigable. Yes, yes, but she Hi, Edgar. Uh, which group are you in? Yeah, sorry, teacher, my, my internet. Uh, it's okay, I understand. It's okay, I totally understand. No se preocupe. Yo, o sea, lo entiendo perfectamente. Aquí un gran tormentón que está pasando. Está lloviendo. I know, I know. It's raining cats and dogs. Uh, yeah. I just want to know, which, which is your group? Who are you with? Uh, Luis and, and Claudia. With Luis? Claudia. Okay, ahorita lo, lo mando para ahí. Horrible. Uh-huh. And how they feel at the moment of the use. And I don't know what else. But mm -hmm. I guess that with five, with five items, we have the enough information. What do you think, Juan Francisco? Five is good for you? Five. Or more? Yes, uh, I I don't I don't understand uh, when uh, uh, for items. Uh, I don't know. Is uh, is uh, similar a question? Uh, 
or yeah. events, it's product. No, no, no. It's similar a, a question. A question. Uh, but is the okay. form part the questionnaire? Yes, it's the same. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. And okay. okay. I understand. Or, okay. Mm -hmm. I have five, five. five six, yes, five, because five. because maybe next we make the questionnaire. <laughs> 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 the next exercise we have to yes. <laughs> is the next exercise. <laughs> to know. How did you know? <laughs> because I am <have> psychology. <laughs> <laughs> is the principle. <laughs> okay. Okay. So. I guess I will be ready. Okay. Uh, you, you guys worked with Heidi last time, right? Or no? Just true. The first occasion, uh, they was working with, they were working with Heidi. Okay. All right. So Heidi just came in, so I'm, I'm bringing her into the group. Yep. Okay. So there she is. Hi, Heidi. Hi, teacher. We are well. We are working with the the group. Remember of the uh, the the product that we were creating in in lesson number one. So we're working with that. We're creating a um, uh, what's it called? The uh, um, we're creating a focus group. We're creating a focus group, and the, your your classmates are going to explain what you have to do. Okay. Okay, teacher. All right, continue. Go ahead. Pretend I'm not here. Okay. The name? Bono. Hi, guys. Bono. Any Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Any questions I can help you with? Uh, no, maybe we finished. Oh, uh, okay. Great. Sounds good. Okay. But uh, uh, teacher, but I we almost finished this. Excellent. Okay. All right. Very good. Okay. So pretend I'm not here. What? Sorry. Pretend I'm not here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ah. Okay, teacher. Sorry. me. <laughs> okay. Um, teacher, I guess that in the the type of tests test. It's like a monadic test, right? We can use that kind of test. Right, yes, but you have to, um, you're, you're looking at the focus group, right? So what kind of group are you going to make the test for? That's the important part, okay? Mm -hmm. You need to read more. I don't remember it. You're creating a focus group. That's all you're doing. You're creating a focus group and how you're going to create the test. That's all you're doing. You're designing the test. Does that make sense? Let me see. So independent of what kind of, like if it's monadic or when any of that, you are thinking of the focus group. So. You're looking at um, how you are going to create this test. Okay. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yes. So, so teacher, because a little bit. Uh, it, it's clear as uh, orchata. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let me clarify. But no, no. If you you wanna, we can we can we can share our work. Oh. And you say, ah, oh, no. Yeah, let's do that. You sh you share with me what you have, and then I'll tell you if it's okay or not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yes, ahead, I, I I found the <laughs> the process. 
I am going to read some conversation that maybe that is going to give me an idea of what we want to select here. Okay. Uh, target of uh, that maybe can be target sample or, or, or random sample teacher. Okay. Okay. If that is in that part, I guess that this is this is a type of type of sample that okay. Well, we are going to use a random sample. Random sample. Judy, but the teacher want, want to know about the, the our product. Bono is a chocolate. We ate bon. <laughs> Do you got it? Uh, <laughs> I, um, just you told me that Warner was with you, right? Last time. What? Am I correct that Warner? Oh. Sorry? Was Werner with you last time? Werner, uh, yes, we, I, I, but I don't remember Look at it because I was working with Werner and with uh, someone else, but I don't know what it, what's yeah. the example that we were working. Yeah, I'm just asking because Werner just came in, so I'm bringing him into the group right now. Okay, okay. okay. There he is. Hello, Warner. Can you hear us? Good evening, teacher. Hello. You arrived. You finally arrived home. Yeah, problems with my internet. Yeah, it's, I understand. Hello. Yeah, no, I, I totally understand. But thank you. I really appreciate you connecting. Uh, right now, you this is your group. This is from the folk. This is uh, you're creating the focus group, right? And uh, this is your group from last time that you were creating the, the product the product in lesson okay. one, right? Remember it was about when you started with the swaps and everything. Okay, so they're gonna explain to you. Okay, uh, we're not, we are going to create a product because we are a new group. Actually, we are a new group, and we decide to create a product like a chocolate. And the name of the product is going to be Bono. And we are going to create uh, the, the, the question that we are, we have here is we, we are going to resolve some elements like uh, the number of focus group. And we decide that we are going to create a group, uh, five groups. And the number of participants for, per groups is going to be 10. And the location that we decide is La Gran Villa. And the type, the type of test that we are going to do is, we are going to select is a random sample. And the number of the item in the questionnaire is going to be eight items. In the presentation, I guess that we are in the presentation, we are going to just speak about the element that we decide, teacher, or we need to agree. Uh, no, just no, talking okay. about. No. You just have to figure out uh, what you what are you going to like, what it's going to look like. OK. It's like you're making kind of like your um, Like uh, you're building a house, right? And you're going to do the sketch, but you're not actually going to do the house yet. You're just doing the sketch. Okay. Okay, that's all you're doing. So right now, just sketching. Don't don't just... actually do the the project itself. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Yuri, they already have uh, the question, the questionnaire. In. If if you want, I am going to share with you the the elements that the teacher put on the class. Okay. Let me see. I send you. Those are those are the element that we need to resolve. Sorry, Yuri. Did you get it? Uh, repeat, please. Uh, do you have the picture that I send you? Okay. Okay. I'll... That picture is playing us is going to explain you what what it does or what is the element that we need to resolve here. For example, the number of focus group, the number of participants per groups, the location that we decide realize or develop the hi ronald uh, uh, uh remind me which which group you were working with which who are you working with i work with with yuri with jury, okay. I work with jury. Yeah. All right, I'm sending you right now. Nice, Ella, teacher. Teacher, Hi. are you guys Hi. ready? Do you have questions? We are ready, teacher. All right, excellent. Okay. I know you are dando hambre. Okay. All right. I'll see you guys in a moment. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Hi, teacher. So you can download the wallet app and then you use it to pay. And if you never will <laughs> use, use that, it's okay. But just take advantage of the, the, the money. Digital money. Uh, Claudia is, is, is training us for uh, we for how we can use a uh, currency um uh, 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 Bitcoin because mm -hmm. tomorrow we going to it is probably. If we want to use to buy in with Bitcoin. In case you want to use it, remember it's optional. Um, I have yeah, but I, I have I have a doubt about that. <laughs> Anna Claudia, Anna Claudia is an excellent an No, excellent. it's because I was putting an example, teacher. Yeah, yeah. There are three I needed to study on that because I didn't understand it. And what happened is that there are three different types of, of money and the best way to understand it is with uh with uh like a form for example and i was explaining to them that the physical money the coins and 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 the paper money 
it's imagine it's uh, has the form of a square. And then the plastic money, so the debit and credit card, it has the form of a circle. And the digital money has the form of a triangle. And they, uh, they can, they cannot, I, ¿Cómo puedo ser convivir? They live together. ¿Cómo digo convivir? Convivir. Ajá, uh -huh. so they don't fight between them because they have three different, they are, have three different ways of being a form. So for example, what the, what people is afraid or maybe they are confused is because there are two profiles. One is the people who is going to use the currency just for transaction. And the other one is the people who is going to use that currency for investment. And that is not my, that, I'm not going to use it for that. I'm just going to use it for transaction only. But and I, that, mm -hmm. Sorry, sorry, continue, continue. No, no, what I was explaining to them is that they, those three types of money, they cannot fight between them. They live together. And the best example is the pizza. They, you purchase the pizza on a square box. The pizza is a circle form. And is when uh, is slice are in the form of triangle, so cannot be happening that Bitcoin will substitute. I don't know if it's correct to say that what, the dollar, okay? Because the physical money is the coins and uh, paper. So what happened in the past is that uh -huh, what happened in the past is that uh, the two currencies in the same form, the square form, paperwork, one substitute the other one. But that cannot happen with these other form of currency. Right. They can live together, but they... I se lo voy a explicar en español porque así no me trago. <laughs> Yo le explicaba a ellos que son tres formas de dinero, el billete físico, el billete, el dinero plástico y el dinero digital. Entonces, ¿qué piensan en ellos como tres formas diferentes? El dinero físico es redondo, el dinero plástico es cuadrado y el dinero digital es triangular. Entonces, no puede un, uno de ellos sustituir al otro. Lo que sí pasó en el pasado es que pusieron a circular un dinero físico con otro dinero físico y claro, uno vino a sustituir al otro, el dólar y el colón. Eso sí pasó porque son dos formas iguales de dinero redondo. Ahora, lo, yo les decía, la forma de estos dineros conviven entre ellos y el mejor ejemplo es una pizza que viene, usted la compra en una caja cuadrada, la pizza es redonda y viene partido en triángulo. Simple, o sea, ellos conviven pero no compiten. Las tarjetas de crédito o débito tienen más de 50 años de existir y todavía hay gente que le tiene miedo a usar tarjeta de débito. Simple, no se usa. Pero hay gente que se siente cómoda solo en efectivo, hay gente que nos sentimos cómoda usando efectivo y, de, y plástico y hoy me sentiría más cómoda usando efectivo, plástico y digital. Yes. Entonces es opcional, nada más. Yo les digo a ellos que es opcional. Pero yo, yo estaba viendo algo. I, I, I still don't understand. Mm -hmm. um, what is the, 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 the currency value? Of ah, no. Ese cambio, ese cambio es volátil porque la gente que invierte, así como en, con dólares se invierte en la bolsa de valores de Nueva York, con esas monedas también se invierte en, en opciones y acciones. Otra cosa. The thing is that I'm seeing that there are two, mm -hmm. like, there are two, types of Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin. There's the regular Bitcoin and there's the Bitcoin cash. And the Bitcoin, the regular Bitcoin is like $50,000. Eh, eh, lo que pasa que la moneda digital Bitcoin, sí, tiene un valor. Mire, esto es un chino, porque un japonés no sé qué era, él se inventó esa currency digital porque quería salirse del sistema y resulta que hubo otros comercios que, ah, yo también quiero transaccionar con vos con esa moneda, y de repente hubo economías más grandes que, ah, de repente yo quiero, y así fue como fue creciendo. El ah. Bitcoin es de, de, nació en el 2008, de hecho se, es anónimo todavía por, por el mismo temor que existe, quién es el verdadero nombre del creador. Pero resulta que entre más gente lo empezó a usar, lo empezó a usar, le fueron dando un valor, así como el dinero en efectivo que usamos tiene un valor relativo comparado con el oro. Entonces, eh, lo que pasa es que lo que nosotros 
vamos a tener que volver es a lo que hacíamos antes cuando había dólar y colón, que estábamos pendientes a cuánto va a estar el dólar ahora. Y esas 24 horas el dólar valía lo mismo. Sí, sí, Usted decidía sí. si los cambiaba o no. Pero, por ejemplo, o sea, por decirle algo, o sea, uh -huh. eh, imagínense el Bitcoin está que a 50 mil dólares. Entonces... Son fracciones diferentes. Lo que pasa es que cuando ya se convierte, porque ahí estamos comparando y dándole valor de dinero digital a un dinero físico. Uh -huh. Estamos dándole un valor en el dinero físico. Pero de Bitcoin a Bitcoin tienen un valor equitativo. Ajá, Entonces, pero por ejemplo, eso. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, a mí me van a, digamos, me pagan, me van a pagar en Bitcoin. No, nunca, nunca. Ustedes me van a pagar en dólares. Eso es lo que voy, que nunca el, un dinero digital va a sustituir un dinero físico ni un dinero plástico. Por ejemplo, eh, a usted en todos los salarios y todas las leyes del Salvador no dice que le van a pagar con una tarjeta de débito equivalente a 600 dólares. No, le van a pagar con dinero en efectivo, y eso va a seguir siendo así toda la vida, y lo que usted por eso es opcional, yo les digo a ellos, bajen su wallet, usen esos, siempre le digo a la gente, usen los 30, equivalentes 30 dólares para pagar un recibo, y ahorrense los 30 dólares físicos que ya tenían destinados para eso, no que la gente se a gastarlo, ¿verdad? eso va a hacer que circule dinero ahorita en la economía, eso es lo que se está fondeando ahorita, entonces si ya no lo van a usar, que no lo usen, solo que sea la única vez, pero la forma en que funciona, les está explicando justo cuando usted entró, es, por ejemplo, yo bajo pedido ya. Cuando bajé la aplicación de pedido ya, automáticamente me cayeron 5 dólares para usarlo en mi primer pedido. Ese día pedí pollo campero y yo solo pagué el resto, que fueron como 4 pesos. Entonces lo mismo va a ser con esto. Baja la, la aplicación Chivo, tiene 30 dólares para poder usarlo, para pagar cualquier cosa. Si ya no lo quiero usar, no lo use. Así, pero hay que usar ese dinero para darle que haya movimiento en la economía. Pero hay gente que no, no lo va a usar. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Y, y no es necesario. Atenten. Yes. Piensen en la pizza cada vez que va a usar Bitcoin. Sí, en la ya, pizza. No, ya deben de estar hablando de comida. <laughs> I haven't had a dinner, so. <laughs> oh, sorry, teacher. I already did. <laughs> No, y es que en el otro grupo estaba Ivón comiendo, y le digo, ay, no, digo, y ahora aquí me, me habla de pizza. Oh, sorry. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. All right, I'll see you guys in the main room. Okay, see you. Okay. All right, guys. I hope you were able to create this group, this uh, focus group. Uh, or better said, design it. That's what we're doing. We're most we're designing it. Okay. So we'll, we're going to start with group number. Oh, wait a sec. No, before we start with group number one, we're doing attendance. Mm -hmm. so, um, Ana Claudia. Present teacher. Andres. Present teacher. Claudia. Edgar. Present teacher. Irvin. Present teacher. Heidi. Present teacher. Irene. Present teacher. Ivan. Present teacher. Jose Montes. Jose Ayala. Present teacher. Josué. Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Jury. Present teacher. Okay. All right. Wonderful. Luis. Luis. Luis is not there. Present teacher, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. Okay. okay. Luis. Natalia. Okay. Uh, Ronald. Present teacher. All right. Uh, Wendy. Present. Warner. Present teacher. Yvonne. Present. 
Wonderful. Okay, great. So now it's time to present. So we'll start with group number one. Um, I don't need everybody to present. I just need one person from each group, okay? So you guys decide who wants to present first. And who is in group number one? <laughs> I don't know if we are the group number one. <laughs> Group number ah. one. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. Yes, Ana Claudia, Irvin, and Irene, group number ah, one. Okay. Irene? Hi. Presentation. <laughs> hey. Uh, we want to ex explain uh, our our plan for run our focus group. We have a product. We design a battle battle recyclable and the type of sample suitable for the product we choose target sample and the number of focus group we decide five or four and the number of participants per group we decided 12 participants and the location at the hotel rooms the type of test is use test. We want to we want to ch choose use test and the number of items in the questionnaire. We decide twelve questions. Wonderful. That sounds good. Very very good. Very well thought out. Excellent. Okay. Now let's go on to group number two, which is. Um, Andres, Ivan, Natalia, and Yvonne. Hey, okay. uh, we design our plan with um, the number of focus groups, three, three groups. Um, the number of participants per group is uh, five, five people per group. The location, in the beauty salon, uh, the type of test is a uh, use and test. And site 102. E, the number of items of the questionnaire is uh, 10 questions. Okay. That's all for us. Very good. Thanks. Very good. Excellent. Bravo. Okay. Group number three is Claudia. Uh, Edgar and Luis. Okay. Um, <clears throat> group number number three, um, service cleaning and service, clean and service for houses and, and offices. Type of samples uh, to table for the product. Target sample because it's aiming at, at a specific sector. Uh, Luis? No. Uh, Luis? Uh, Luis? Hello, can you hear me? I have a little yeah. trouble with the internet. It's okay. 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 The number uh, of, of uh, focus group. Yes, the on, number please. of the focus group is a uh, three or 25 uh, participants each one. And the number of participant per group is um, uh, 75 participants. 75 participants? Okay, that's a lot. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Uh, the location is virtual. Use we will use a uh, Zoom app. The type of test we will use in a hundred tests because the customer can feel, can see, and can touch the result. Uh, the number of uh, the item of in the question questionnaire is ten questions. 10 close question and three open question. So in, in total? 
How many there, questions? Uh, 13. 13. All right, sounds good. Excellent, bravo. Very good. Okay, next group is group number four. It's Heidi, Jose, Juan Francisco, and Wendy. Teacher, um, can I uh, can I share my screen? Sure, sure. Go ahead. Okay. Good evening. Uh, Product is the face mask, the washable mask. And uh, the organizing plan is the, the number of focus group we decide is two. Uh, the number of participants per group is five per group uh, is 10. Oh. And the location is virtual. Uh, the type of test uh, we decide is monadic method. In the final, the number of items of the questionnaire is five items. All right. Only okay. that. All right. So it's a small, it's a small test. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Excellent. And finally, my last group will be Jerry, Ronald, and Warner. Okay, in our case, uh, we, let me see, we have the, the numbers of focus group is going to be five. Uh, the number of participants for a group is going to be 10. And the location that we decide is La Gran Villa. And uh, I forget the name of the product is uh, chocolate. And the chocolate name is going to be uh, Bono. Bon. The, um, no, just Bono. <laughs> Bono. 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 Yes, it's an imitation of the Bono. <laughs> <laughs> we 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 ate the last ah. words. Okay. Uh, and the type the type of test is going to be the random sample. And the number of the item and the questionnaire is going to be eight, two. Okay. Sounds good. Very good. Bravo. Okay, excellent. Okay, so you guys have now the idea of how to design a focus group. Okay, now, what about the questions? How do we make the questions? Um, we are going to. I'm going to be sharing this with you. Please tell me if you can see it. I think you could only you could only see it partially. So, okay. Can you guys see it now? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yes. All right, good, excellent. So this um, is tips to design focus group questions, okay? So you guys already told me how many questions you were gonna have. Um, some of you had five, others eight, others 10, others 12. There's one I think with 13, I don't remember. But yes, okay, so everybody has the amount of, of questions there. The question is, how are you going to design those questions? Because you can't just choose any question. I mean, it's not just like, it has to be really well thought out questions. So I have a question for you guys. Have you ever conducted a focus group? Kind of, how many people have ever done this? Have you ever had, have you ever conducted a focus group? Anybody? I have been into a focus group, but I haven't conducted any. Conducted, no. Okay. No, okay, so you've only been part of a focus group. Mm -hmm. Yes, I had been in that. 
Okay, so Natalia and Heidi have been, both been, okay. All right. Okay, nobody else has conducted one? No? Okay, all right. Why do you think it is important to design good questions about the product for the participants in the focus group to respond? Why do you think this is important? Teacher. Yeah? I think that it is so important to design good question because we need to get good, good information about the customer or about the person who are involved in the focus group. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Any other ideas? It's important because that is going to give us uh, feedback about our product and what we need to change at the future. Right, very good, okay. So if you you're, remember the, the whole idea of this focus group is to get a good product to be able to get money, right? That's the idea here. So if you do not design the, fo the focus group questions well, you won't get good feedback. If you don't get good feedback, then your, your product may not do so well. If your product doesn't do so well, that translates to less money, right? So yes, of course, that's going to be very important, right? To think about the, um, the questions. Don't just write any question that comes to your mind. Really think it out. So since we understand that the questions are very important, let's read the following excerpt about tips to design focus group questions. Um, I need a volunteer, I need, I'm gonna need seven volunteers, okay? So I need a first volunteer to read this first sentence, uh, next volunteer to read the introduction, third volunteer to read the fun st um, starter questions or activities, third volunteers to read the format, fourth volunteers read our uh, rating scale, Fifth, uh, six volunteer, the sixth volunteer is the specific specificity, and the seventh volunteer is going to read the closing. So, who would like to help me with the first one? The first. Me, teacher. I can help. Wonderful. Thank you, Ronald. Okay. Number two, who's going to read with okay. the introduction? Okay. Jose. Okay. Okay. That's okay. Great. Excellent introduction. Uh, fun starter questions or activities. Who wants to read that part? Me, teacher. Okay, great. Thank you, Louise. Format. Who wants to read about format? Me, me teacher. teacher. Okay, who said me? Me, Irene. Irene. Okay. All right. Who? I also heard another another voice. Who was the other voice? Me, teacher. Okay, Jerry. You can can you read us uh, the rating scale? Okay. Okay. Specificity. Who wants to read specificity? Me, teacher. Wonderful. Thank you, Natalia. And the closing. Who wants to read the closing? Me, teacher. Me. Wendy. All right. Wendy, you can read the closing. Wonderful. Let's begin with the first one. Go for it, Ronald. Okay. You can help your member have a more productive season by asking questions that grab their attention and get them to provide more honest and complete, and complete response. Wonderful. Thank you very much, Ronald. Before we continue with the next one, do you have questions about the vocabulary? No? It's okay? No. Okay. All right, introductions. Introductions. Behind the section with a set of equations that will enable focus group members to get to know each other better. E.g., their favorite hobbies and interests, what they enjoy, focus group, etc. Thank you. Thank you very much. Questions about vocabulary. E.g. <laughs> yeah, that is a, a, a short, it's a abbreviation, let's say, that means example, okay? I think it's Latin, but I don't remember exactly what it stands for. Uh, but it, what it means is 
example. Okay. Example. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, any other words that you don't understand? Teacher, in the in the uh, uh, the paragraph uh, say grab their attention in the first paragraph. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But grab, this grab is to take. Oh, okay. And which is the different the difference with grab and get? Um. Get is more general. Grab is like, it has a more physical meaning. Like grab is like to obtain like that, grab. Okay. 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 All right. Um, oh, oh, I just, I just found out um, EG is actually Latin for exempli gratia which literally just means exam an example, okay? For example. So yeah, that's why it's EG, it's, it's Latin. Okay, let's continue with number two, fun starter questions or activities. Okay, fun starter question uh, or activity. As a fun question or do a, a team building game to get the group's creativity flowing. For example, ask them to think of three words to describe their favorite hobbies. Thank you. Questions about that vocabulary there? Okay, all right, format. Format. When choosing couple of questions, be sure to include a mix of multiple, multiple choice questions to provide instruction and direction and open ending questions to allow for further exploration and discovery. Thank you. All right. Questions about that? Order? Okay, further is, um, it's the comparative of far, but not physically. We're not talking about physically far. It's more like, um, it, it's more about um, in general, like being far, more like, um, what's the word? Not a literal meaning, but like, um, oh, what's the word? What's the opposite of literal? Um, the word is at the tip of my tongue. Um, like figuratively. Uh -huh. Figuratively speaking. Okay. So in this case, um, to allow for okay. further exploration, we're going to, we're going to explore it more. Like saying more. Like a four. Like a four. Four. No. Further. Adelante. Further means the word, it comes from the word far, mm -hmm. right? Far, right? Okay, far. So um, we with far, the comparative of far can be farther or further. Más allá. Okay. Ah, okay. Far, far. Okay, any other words? Mm -hmm. No? Okay. No. All right. Let's continue with rating scale. A rating scale, select at an appropriate rating scale to measure different level of appro approval. 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 Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, questions about vocabulary there? Okay. 
Okay. All right. Number five, specificity. 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 <laughs> About large open end questions that simple as why the word why has a negative meaning. It makes the respondent think their first answer was not good. Instead, ask question respondents to provide some specific example of what they like or did not like about the item in the question. Okay. Question. Uh, any questions about the vocabulary there? How do you pronounce yeah. is bag or big open at the question? Big. Big, ah, okay. Big. Mm -hmm. And actually this word here, it's pronounced item. Okay. Item. Teacher, is, is still what is pronounced? Is is still. Hold on, just give me a second. Instead. Uh, so we have item, bag, um, instead. Uh, instead. Instead. What is instead, teacher? Uh, instead it means like uh, like when you have an alternative. So instead of instead uh. Instead, ask respondents to provide some specific uh, examples. So you're saying, don't do this, do this. Okay, so it's like, like you have two options, but don't do this, mm. do this action instead. Mm. Okay? Okay. And the, uh, some people were asking, what is vague? What is the meaning of vague? Vague is the opposite of specific. Okay, when you're being specific, you know exactly what it is. When you're it's being vague, it's like, oh, you know, you really don't okay. know what it is. Mm -hmm, exactly. Yeah. Open-ended questions are questions where you're not going to be answering yes or no. Okay, so yes, uh, like for example, did you like it? Yes. Um, or no, I did it. Okay, so those are closed, closed-ended questions. Open-ended questions would be like, uh, what did you think about this? Uh, where did you buy it? You know, so you have to kind of like ask you questions where people are going to answer more than just yes or no. Okay. Uh, what is the meaning of respondent? Respondent is the person that responds. Um, okay, so the Whoever is responding is the respondent. Okay. Any other words? Okay. All right. Let's go for closing. <clears throat> the closing. Th thank. Or thank. Thank. Thank the participant for their help. And ask if ask if there anything could be done to improve their experience as a member of the focus group thank you very much wendy very very good how do we pronounce this word focus group focus focus focus, focus. remember we talked about this um we say fo Focus, you say. Focus. Not cous. Focus. 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 If you're going to be following these tips, you can't have, uh, you know, three questions in your in your um, focus group questionnaire. It's so impossible because if you notice there, you have to create many different questions. The first question you have to create is an introduction question. 
right? Some something that will, um, you know, like it says here, it will help each um, to get to know each other better. Talking about their favorite hobbies, interests. So this is not really about the product itself. Okay, this is more about the person, the 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 actual uh, respondent, so that they can kind of um, start to. Um, you know, get to know each other, okay? The, everybody in the group. Then we need to have some questions about starters, starter questions or like icebreakers, right? Those questions where, um, you know, they, or not, maybe not icebreakers, but basically they have to start thinking, create, um, make sure that you um, activate their creativity, okay? So you're gonna have to have questions, maybe one or two questions like that. Another thing you have to take in consideration is that your the format cannot be the same. You can't just have question, answer, question, answer, question, answer. It has to be, for example, you have to have a mix of multiple choice, right? A, B, and C, right? Um, things like that. Questions that are open-ended so you can answer um, more questions more answers like uh, because blah, 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 or um, it was when blah, 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 blah. And also um, ask questions. You're gonna have to, uh, this is actually part of the next, the next um, point. You have to ask questions also like rating, like which, which is kind of like a multiple choice, right? Where the person says, okay, would you say the answer is this, this or that, right? Okay. so. Now rating scales are like, you have to decide for, to give an example, on a scale of one to five, five being the best and one being the worst, um, how would you rate your experience? So the person has to decide what is the level of their experience? Do, do they say it was a good experience and it was like excellent experience, that would be a five. If it was the worst experience, that would be a one. So you can have a rating scale, right? You decide if it's gonna be from one to five, one to three, one to 10, zero to 10, et cetera, et cetera. Then specificity, right? So you have to ask questions that will make the person ask, um, or better said, give more information, not just yes or no, right? but try to avoid questions with why. And then finally, at the end, you have a question that closes the, the, the activity, um, asking if maybe the, the participant would like to suggest something to improve the experience. So do you see, this is not going to be, the, the, the questionnaire cannot be conducted in three, five questions. The questionnaire is going to be minimum 10 questions, right? Minimum. Do you see that? Yes. Yeah? Yes, teacher. Any questions about that? So it's pretty clear how you're going to create the questions, like how you how you're going to, yeah, create and design and create. Yes? Okay. All right, great. So now that we know how to make these questions, let's actually go ahead and do it. So let's practice. Work in small groups. We're gonna continue with the same group that we had before. Design a 12, a 10 to 12 question, question, questionnaire valga la redundancia, to find out how the participants of a focus group receive the product you've suggested in unit one. Remember to start with the questions to make the participants interact with each other and reduce the anxiety. So the first questions have nothing to do with the product. It's more about the participant themselves so that they can feel good. They meet each other, they get to know each other, they feel relaxed, they feel creative. 
Remember to start with questions to make the participant interact with each other and reduce anxiety, then ask questions about specific characteristics of the product. So after you have uh, made questions for interaction, now let's start asking about the product. And then you're gonna share your questionnaire with the class. Sounds good? 10 to 12 questions, you're gonna decide. You have to think about it very well. Okay, so it's not just whichever question comes to your mind. Think about it, design the question very well. Okay, is that clear for everybody? Do we understand what we're gonna be doing? Yes, teacher. Yes? Okay. All right, so we're gonna stop sharing and we're gonna open up the rooms again, okay? I'm gonna open up the rooms and this time I'm gonna give you just 10 minutes because we don't have very much time. I'm gonna give you 10 minutes, but, but you don't have to finish, okay? You, I'm gonna give you 10 minutes to start creating the questionnaire, but I understand that it won't be enough time. So you don't have to finish right now, okay? All right? Is that okay. pretty good with everybody? We're just starting the group right now, okay? Okay. So here we go. Let's open the groups. Heidi, which group were you in? Heidi? Heidi? Heidi. Hobbies. Like hobbies or activities that the participants enjoy to do, for example, different hobbies or sports if they practice some some in basketball and football or another activity they that mm -hmm. they they mm -hmm. enjoy to do because it's necessary um uh, grow grow their attention and mm -hmm. that they feel that enjoy they it they, no and they, they will need the pros uh -huh. yes Thinking that we are going to make the test in the hotel, maybe we can ask something. We, like... we, we need to know if the, the participants practice a different. Hey, hey, hey. We can show some simple questions like, uh, yeah. "What is your favorite color?" For example, your favorite mm -hmm. color. Or you oh, prefer yeah. natural nails or designing nails? The duration, but there is, the material. Uh -huh, but but oh. this is the question for the for just for the, the beginning. Or, or icebreaker. The, uh -huh, uh -huh, the icebreaker. But for the first, for the introduction, uh, we can choose uh, what is your favorite color? What is um, your, um, no, your favorite color? Or... Uh, natural nails. Uh huh. What is the first one? What is your favorite color? Then? Okay. Yes. Number one. Red fire. Guys, sorry, I forgot to to show you something. I forgot what? to tell the class that something, so I'm going to show you right now. These are some of the, the sam sample questions. You guys can see it? Uh, yes. So use their rating scale to measure the participant's satisfaction. For example, you can say, overall, how satisfied are you with the product? What is your impression of the product? How likely are you to purchase this product? So these are some questions that could that could help you with the rating scales. Also open-ended questions are like, for example, what specific features of the product impressed you? 
What features of the product disappointed you? So these are some sample questions. Okay. Uh, yeah. But this is the rating scale. This is for rating scales and mm -hmm. questions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just for you guys to take that into account, whatever you, so you can guys can think about it. Okay. All right. Okay. okay. Another questions, maybe for some. thinking about what is your name and your favorite hobby hello um, teacher sorry, sorry um i forgot to show you this before we went to the breakout rooms i forgot to show you um this powerpoint um i'm, I'm going to stop sharing your screen i know um okay. i know you're you're, you're you're sharing the screen right now i'm just going to start sharing with mine okay just for a moment good teacher can you see this? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So this is just some examples. Um, mm -hmm. Using like the, for the rating scales, you can ask questions like, overall, how satisfied are you with the product? What mm -hmm. is your impression of the product? How likely are you to purchase this product? So then you can have like scales like, okay, um, like, a, oh, excellent, or oh, so so, or mm -hmm. I hated it, whatever, right? And then we have open ended questions like, what specific features of the product impressed you? What features of the product disappointed you? So, those are some examples. Okay. Great okay, teacher. Take into account. Okay. 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 You guys can continue. Thank okay, you. teacher. Like? No. No. What do you like? Do you like? What do you like about the product? Uh -huh. Sorry to bother you. Um, what did you like the more the most about the product, or what did you like about the product only that? Okay, I'm going to share with you. Um, can you see it? You can see it? Yes. yes. Okay. So these are just some examples, some questions that you could use for the rating scale. For example, overall, how satisfied are you with the product? What is your impression of the product? Mm -hmm. How likely are you to purchase this product? Right? So you can say, yeah, it's, like, it's excellent, or it was okay, or I hated it, right? So those are some, some uh, rating scales that you can have. Open-ended questions could be like, um, what specific features of the product impressed you? What features of the product disappointed you, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so those are just like some examples so you can think about them, okay? Okay. Okay, continue, go ahead. Does the product cover I, all you, you need? Hi, teacher. Um, I just, I forgot to show you a, a slide before we, we finished, uh, before we went to the breakout rooms. I'm gonna show it to you right now. These are some example questions that you could have for your um, questionnaire. For example, for rating scales to measure the participant satisfaction, we can use, Example, overall, how satisfied are you with the product? What is your impression of the product? How likely are you to purchase this product? And we can have scales like, to give an example, oh, it was excellent, it was okay, or I hated it, right? Things like that. Hmm. Okay. And then open-ended questions and examples are, what specific features of the product impressed you? 
what features of the product disappointed you? So these are, you have to, you can't just say yes, no, you have to give more information, okay? Yes, teacher. Okay. I, in the others, uh, then the question is, uh, would you recommend theirs or product to a friends or family members? Yes. yes no? The problem is that that would not be an open-ended question. That would be a yes or no question. You could ask, for example, how likely are you to recommend this product to a family member? How likely? So, uh, likely. Oh, okay. so what, what's the probability of... of of sharing. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you, teacher. Oh, thank you, teacher. Okay. Yes. Bien, te vas a tener más. We need to get to choose the to choose this information because we need get this 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 information about the, the customer for example if they if they are pe uh, people who are but i guess irene iris that is a good question uh-huh but in the format sorry sorry i'm going to interrupt you for a moment i just want uh -huh. to share this information with you guys i'm going to stop sharing for a moment what you're sharing and i'm going okay. to share my screen Okay. 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 Uh, if you guys can see my sample questions here, these are some examples of some questions you could ask for rating scales to see the participant satisfaction. Mm -hmm. Overall, how satisfied are you with the product? What is your impression of the product? How likely are you to purchase this product? And you can have scales like, you know, it was excellent or eh, it was okay or, oh, I hated it, it was horrible, right? And then we have open-ended questions like, what specific features of the product impressed you? What features of the product disappointed you? Okay, mm. so we have, instead of just asking yes or no questions, you have to explain, right? So those are open-ended questions. So those are just examples of some things that you could, keep, you could use uh, for your questions. Mm, okay, thank you, Zisha. All right. Okay, uh, we're actually going to go back to the breakout room. Sí, ya son las 10. Ya son las 10. Okay, Uy. so we're going to go back to the breakout room and okay. continue with this activity tomorrow. Okay, not a problem. What do you expect from me? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, ¿Cómo es? In the house. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. All right, guys. Um, I am going to um, I'm going to get you guys to continue tomorrow. So don't worry. I'm I didn't expect you to finish today. We're going to continue with this tomorrow. Okay. So okay. 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 Listen. Okay, yes. <laughs> now, okay, donkeys. We're going to be taking. See you, see you tomorrow. No? <laughs> Present teacher. Ana Claudia. Present teacher. Andres. Claudia. Present teacher. Okay, Edgar. Present teacher. Urban. Present teacher. Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Uh, Heidi. Heidi's on here? Okay. Uh, Irene. Present teacher. Okay. Ivan. Present teacher. Jose Montes. Jose Ayala. Present teacher. Josue. Juan Francisco. 
present teacher. Um, okay, uh, Jerry. Present teacher. Please. Present teacher. Natalia. Present teacher. Ronald. Ronald. Present teacher. Uh, Wendy. Present. Warner. Present teacher. And Yvonne. Present. All right, wonderful guys. Okay, so that's gonna be all for today. Um, solo me quedo ahí con jury. Okay, and that's it. See you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to goodbye. Bye. Bye. Thank Good you. Good night, everybody. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Bye. Hi, everybody. Me too. Tu clase se acaba. Sí, mi amor, ya es hora de dormir. Mamá, ¿qué los niños se vuelven a las once? No, ningún niño duerme a las once. Usted se duerme a las diez. Otros niños duermen más temprano. Oh, that was so cute. <laughs> okay. All right, Jerry. Hey, teacher. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo vamos? Eh, good. Excellent. Good. Excellent. All right. So tell me, what can I help you with? Well, actually, I resolved the part of the test and almost, I almost finished the first. Excellent. Good to you. Um, I didn't finish because maybe I need to. I, I remember that I tried to resolve, but I I have some question, maybe because we didn't we didn't have uh, the class at the time that tried to resolve it. Okay. But maybe today, well, tomorrow I am going to try to resolve it. Okay. And but for me it is everything is okay. I don't have any question. Maybe I need to study more about something. Uh, about the problems, uh, strat strategy uh, analysis, the analysis about strategy that we need to improve, we need to apply if we want to create our products. Maybe that is something that I need to study. Because. Uh, mm -hmm. Strategies, what are you talking about? To give me an idea. For, for example, in this this level, we are we are using many 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 terms like uh, monadic test and some elements. For example, today you ask us some concepts concepts like a random sample. Mm -hmm. The Friday, the last the last week. I didn't understand it, um, but today I began to find. I began. I was looking for on the internet, and then I I got it really easy. But the last last day, I didn't get it. I feel like uh, I I lose. I lose. I didn't understand it, but now I I get it. Okay, so now it's it's pretty clear for you. Yes, well, now there, there is, it is, it is. Okay, okay, good. Um, all right, anything else that, you, that you've that you had problems with um, during these classes? No, maybe sometimes I, I, I think is when we, we, we need to study before something to, to stay at the class because that is going to help us to 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 know some terms maybe that is but I, that is my responsibility okay yeah I, I agree in the sense that um, it, it would be a very good idea to to look at the information beforehand so that when you get into the class, um, it's not something completely new for you. You at least you have heard of it. You maybe have you know looked it up a little bit, and then it's easier. Yeah, that definitely is going to help you. Um, what about in English in general? What what questions do you have about English in general? 
um, nothing. I think it's the level. Uh, the level is good. I think that if sometimes I feel that I I don't get something, it's because I don't pay attention. And for in general, it's for me. It's okay. Everything is okay. I am learning a lot. Oh, good, 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 excellent. Okay, very, very good. Um, yeah, and anything you need, um, Jerry, any questions that you have, you don't even have to wait for to, um, you know, for the class to begin to ask me. You can do it in the WhatsApp group, right? Oh, or, okay. Or if you, or if you feel that it's better for you to do it, um, you know, privately, you can also do it. Um, you, you can send me a message through my, uh, you know, personal. So, you okay. Know, you don't have to wait, wait until the class. So go ahead. I may not answer right away because I, you know, I have so many things to do during the day, but, you know, I will be there to support you as much as possible. Right. Oh, okay. I will. I will try to um, to answer as fast as I can. Okay. So you know, don't don't worry. Um, if there's something in that moment that you're having problems with, right right away, write the 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 doubt that you have, and I will try to help you. Okay. Sometimes I have problems to connect at the class. For example, today. Uh, in, at the house, I had problem with the power, electricity power, and we uh, the computer shut down and just appear at the class to say present teacher, and suddenly the computer shut down, and I was trying to I was I was waiting to the internet return, mm -hmm. but sometimes I had that kind of problem. In, that why you can see that maybe I lose the first the first assistant that you ask. Attendant. 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 Yeah. yeah, I understand. Yeah, things like that happen. And I understand that. It's like, for example, imagine this with the weather we've had. You know, it's been quite um, you know, super rainy everywhere. Um, some of my coworkers have even um, you know. Uh, their electricity has gone. So I understand those things happen, you know, so it's, it's okay. Um, you know, just, you know, just, just try to connect back as, as quickly as possible. That's all you can do, right? So, okay. I, but I really appreciate that you're always um, trying to, you know, connect as quickly as possible. So thank you. Uh, I have a I have a question. If, if do you think that I am I am do you think that um, can you you can you measure my progress at the class? Can I measure it? Mm -hmm. Or do you think that I am the same level that I began when? <laughs> And they no, were... no, no, no. I think I think you're um, you are able to communicate much more fluently, right? Um, I think you uh, you have now that acquired that ability to be able to speak, and and that's what these these groups are for. Um, if you notice, um, probably you probably you probably noticed that with the beginners. It was more like, okay, we're going to learn, um, you know, lots of grammar and things like that. In this one, it's more like, okay, let's use that grammar, but let's talk, 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 right? So I put you a lot into groups and um, for you guys to discuss this, to discuss that, you know, and the whole idea is for you guys to, um, you know, forget about that fear of making mistakes. And I think, I think you're, you're doing quite well. I think you're um, you're you're right up there. Um, you're gaining the vocabulary necessary. The you're putting into practice all of the grammar skills. That's wonderful. Um, how do you feel? I think that I need to dedicate more time if I want to improve my English level. Mm -hmm. This is, I think, this 
I think that is necessary to do because uh, some some terms some some terms are complicated. Yeah. And for example, I remember one day you was talking about uh, uh, expressions. I, expressions. You were talking about uh, expression. I don't remember what expression was. Um, contract expression something like that but contract expression something like that but i remember that i needed to study for on the youtube i found more information and that way i understand it uh, sometimes i need to study more i guess um yeah i mean um it, it's, it would be very helpful for you to um, look for more information. But like I said, if, um, if there's something that you need help with, you can write immediately to the group and we'll see what we can help you with, right? Oh, okay. so, yeah, absolutely. Like, like we're here to help you, but, but you, you've got to express yourself. You got to tell us, okay, teacher, I need help with this, right? Be specific, you know? And, and then I will for sure. Go ahead and try to help you. Oh, okay, excellent. Excellent, Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Any questions, anything else that you want to ask? No, Talk teacher, for me, it's, everything is okay. Okay, all right. Also, be, um, don't be afraid of making any suggestions too. Like um, if you want to suggest something, go ahead. You know, that's what we're here for, to help you. In oh, any, okay. Okay? Okay. All okay. right. Okay. Everything is okay, teacher. Excellent. Okay. All right, Jerry, take care then, and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night, teacher. Bye. Good night. Bye.